Today we're going to be making the super fire paper collage effect. It's quick, it's simple, and I feel like every time I upload a collage paper style effect, you guys go absolutely crazy on it. So I want to show you some of my favorite techniques, and we're going to be using Premiere Pro only. If you're new here and you like these style effects, I have plenty of other tutorials on paper stuff and also a bunch of other video editing stuff on my channel. Be sure to be subscribed because 50% of the people that watch this channel are not already subscribed. Drop a like on this video and let's get into it. To get started with this effect, you're either going to need photos or just screen grabs from your video. So from the Lil Yachty Say Something music video, I just went ahead and took a bunch of screenshots, selecting some scenes that I thought looked good. The purpose of this transition for me was to make something very quick and simple. So I went ahead and used four of the screenshots that I took. And since we want a collage style effect that's quick and simple, I introduce a new picture every four frames, but I had them stack like this because to get the collage style effect, when you add a new photo in, you still want the previous one to be showing somewhere in the background. The next step, and probably the most important step in a paper collage effect, is to add some kind of paper textures on there. I'm going to be using my ultimate texture bundle V1 and V2 in this video. They're by far some of the highest quality paper textures extra assets in the game for video editing and photo editing. And I'd highly recommend them to anyone that wants to get this aesthetic. I'll have them linked down in the description. So for my ultimate texture bundle V1, the rips and folds pack, I brought on black sheet one, changed it to screen and scaled it to the size I wanted. And then I went ahead and nested that with the first photo. And then using the pen tool, I went around where these fold marks were. So it kind of looks like it's like ripped out and it helps sell that collage style effect. I made sure to turn the feather to zero. That way it's harsher edge, how paper would actually look. And then I brought on black sheet six from the pack, scaled up the paper texture. So those white marks so like around the bullet. I was looking for paper textures that fit each photo. That way you can mask it out and make it feel like a little bit more organic. Look for paper textures that would fit around your photos the best. Again, nested the photo with the paper texture and masked around the white lines. I then went ahead and did the exact same technique for the remaining two photos. That way we have something that looks like this. And now that we have everything masked out, it's time to stack everything in a collage style look. So feel free to move around those nested sequences. That way you can kind of stack them in a way where it looks good. You still see the subject, but it also has that collage and paper style look. This personally is my favorite part of the effect because it allows you to get creative and it's cool to like figure out ways to fit in the paper textures together. And then I thought it was time to add on some tape from the Ultimate Texture Bundle V2 inside of the tape pack. I used the tape to sell the collage style effect, kind of exactly how in collages you use tape and paper to stick stuff together. And all throughout this process, I'm still moving around the paper textures in different orders as I see a better way to stack them around. When making your collage, one thing to keep in mind to make the effect look better in my opinion is just to keep the subject or the main focus of each paper texture visible for as long as possible. So you can see here how I kind of move that triangle up into the top left. I made Yachty and the girl visible on the car. The bullet says love in the bottom left. They're all very visible and you can see what's going on the whole entire time. And then I wanted it to feel more of like a scrapbook style effect. So I brought in this paper sheet one from the ultimate texture bundle V1, the paper textures pack and added it into the background. And then from that same pack, I brought on the black scratch 11, brought it above everything, turned it to screen and changed the lumetri color a bit. I then made an adjustment layer above everything, played with the curves, the tint, just made it look a little bit more vintage look and basically added a little bit more contrast and tried to make it feel a bit more warm. I then went through and nested the tape with their corresponding paper textures. That way the tape that's supposed to be on the paper texture is all in one layer. Then I keyframed the scale from like 105, went forward one frame and changed it to 100. That way there's just a little bit of an animation each time a paper texture comes in. After that, I added a quick camera flash to each nested layer. That way when they come in with the scale, there's also a quick little flash kind of how a photo would be taken. You can do that by just keyframing the brightness and contrast. And then just how they came in in different orders. I made the layers end in different orders. That way they don't all just disappear at the exact same time. And then just some finishing touches to sell the effect and transition a little bit more. I made two adjustment layers, each last six frames long. And then I added the soft motion blur hit preset onto both of those adjustment layers. It's from Tiny Tape's Fast Movement V3 pack. I'll also have that link down in the description if you're interested. It just adds a little bit of movement into the transition and out of it. So it feels like a little bit more of like something's actually happening there. And then finally to end the transition, I nested all of the paper textures together and then just keyframe the scale. That's it for for the paper collage effect. If you like the tutorial, be sure to drop a like. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that. 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. Of all the paper texture assets that I used in this video, link down in the description. If you don't already have some really high quality paper textures, I'd highly suggest these. There's so many different effects that you can do with the Ultimate Texture Bundle V1 and V2, and it's just a great way to speed up your workflow. That's all I got for you guys in this one. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.